Uh, this is uh, part two of uh, adjusting the headlights on a smart car. Uh, part one uh, kind of stopped uh, and I have to continue on with part two. Uh, what you're looking at now is the passenger side uh, with the uh, front um, piece removed so you can see the headlight assembly. And what you can see is I uh, marked the um, what each each item does. The first one which is right here is up down high low beam and uh, it takes a four millimeter um, allen wrench or you can use a Phillips screwdriver the second one which is a little more challenging to see it's uh, the same looks the same except it's down in the corner and for some reason they put a pop rivet in it and so you couldn't get in there with an allen you have to remove the pop rivet and I drilled it out I'll show you the one on this side, but this one's a little bit easier to see, and I'll try to point to it. Uh, they had, um, for some reason, they I don't know why they did, but they installed the pop rivet. Maybe they don't want you adjusting it, but it is adjustable, and uh, I'm trying to get this thing to focus and point to it, and it's, it's that right there, which I'm pointing to with the pointer. And that's the one that's got the pop, pop rivet in it, which is, uh, which you have to really remove to, um, let me back out a little bit. You have to remove that pop rivet to uh, adjust it with a four millimeter. And the next one is this, as it's labeled here, up, down, low beam only. And this one here, it's under the back side. And I, as I said earlier in the other video, I uh, used the Dremel tool and put a slot in it. It's a five-sided, um, you know, it's a socket doesn't fit on it because that's six-sided, it's five-sided. So, yeah, you have to uh, put a slot in there or find a special tool that they have. But uh, what I ended up doing in adjusting it was um, I, I did it in several steps. First thing I did was um, get the headlights pointing straight um, using the um, high-low, which is right here. Uh, let me come to this side because I got it marked which way is down. I adjusted the uh, high low beam using that one, and that's up down, of course. And then uh, the uh, next one is the uh, in out, and I adjusted that one next in out. And then I adjusted the next one, which is the one I'm showing there, the center one right here. And that I adjusted to match the other one. So but sometimes you can get the low beam. Um, in not the right position as the high beam so you have to adjust you know I adjusted the high beam first because you don't have any separate control for the high beam you only have one control which is high and low and then after I adjusted the high beam then I went back and adjusted the low beam to match the high beam as far as you know position and I was against um, a building that was white and I could see the um, hot spot and I did it in the evening uh, and I this one so this one here you use a four millimeter four millimeter Allen or a Phillips screwdriver. That one is the same uh, Allen, or, and this center one here is the one that's be underneath. And I showed it on the other video. And that one you use a either you grind a um, slot in it, which uh, you got to take the headlight out to do that, the whole bucket out. Or you get to find a five-sided um, socket, which obviously they must have a special tool for it because they built the car. So that's the procedure I used. Um, I couldn't find any place on uh, any information on adjusting the high-low beams. They said it wasn't possible. I read one, one said that the, you can't adjust the headlights, and that's absolutely false. Um, the problem I had with my headlights was... The headlights uh, had a big dark spot right in the middle on low beams, and I realized something was wrong at that point in time. I uh, decided that it needed adjustment, so I took it apart as in video one, and now you're seeing the end result. So now they're adjusted, and the, the lights are where they're supposed to be, and that does it for this video.